When the river runs dry, you will return to the scene of the crime. And that is what we are doing today from Amy Park as Western United take on the Western Sydney Wanderers. The Isuzu Ute A-League Men's continues and football continues in this country in earnest as we look forward to Western Sydney and Mark Radan's side. What are they capable of today? against a Western United team that are the defending champions, of course, but have made such a poor start to their season that now just making the top six would be seen as something of an achievement. Let's see if today is where they kickstart matters. Great to see young, enthusiastic fans, Mini Roos, dressed in Western United colours, ready to come out of the tunnel and accompany their role models out onto the pitch today. And we hope that this game will deliver. There's only ever been one draw between these two teams, Western United with the head-to-head, 4-2, -head, to and they are only separated by a single goal historically, 12-13 to 13 in Western Sydney Wanderers' favour. It's immaculate weather in Melbourne today, and the pitch is also in incredible condition. Western Sydney Wanderers, of course, wearing their white away kit with a little dash of the home colours, and Western United in their customary green and black stripes as the home team. And so let's take a look at how the teams line up. Western United with two changes to the starting 11. In come Tongo Dumbia and Nicholas Milanovic. To the bench go Bosanovsky, Payne and the returning Diamanti. While out of the squad, the suspended Leo Lacroix, Josh Risden and also Dylan Wenzel-Halls make way for John Aloisi's men. And Western Sydney Wanderers, well, we will be trying to shut down that man, Tongo Dumbia, the Malian international. It's his first start after a couple of appearances off the bench. And he will be looking to make his mark after an injury derailed what could have been a promising start to the season after a couple of substitute appearances. Western Sydney Wanderers, by contrast, they welcome Oli Pazanic into the starting 11 for the first time. Rami Najarine and Aidan Simmons appear on the bench. Simmons, a former Sydney FC youth player, while out of the squad goes the injured Milos Ninkovic. He will be sorely missed, of course, in that Western Sydney Wanderers midfield. John Aloisi, the Western United coach, Hayden Fox, Michael Theo, John Anastasiadis, his loyal deputies. And he will be hoping that three points are in the offing today. Certainly a very calm pre-game. And once the whistle goes, Mark Rodan, don't expect him to sit placidly for too long. He's got the hoodie on this afternoon. He will be hoping that Western City Wanderers can leave with all three points. And so it's Western Sydney to kick this one off. The countdown will get us underway. Sunday afternoon action at a pristine Amy Park in beautiful weather as well as Western Sydney Wanderers come to Melbourne trying to claim three precious points. Daniel McBreen, lots to like about this match. Two very senior adult teams and some of the young sparks like Milanovic and Neuenhoff may shine through the afternoon. Yeah, it's a good blend for both teams and Western Sydney are almost like Western United last season. They don't concede many goals. On the contrary, it's been a really hectic start at the back for Western United. 18 goals let in in their first seven games. I said in the pre-game that they only conceded 30 all season last year, so almost well on their way to that target already. So they'll be looking to fix that up. It'll be interesting to see how it pans out. They've owned the ball from kickoff with almost every member of the 11 getting a touch in the first minute. Tomoki Imai is back in the Western United team for the first time since October the 7th in round one where he suffered an injury. As the ball is volunteered up to Adama Traore at left back for Western Sydney. And now Callum Neuenhoff who will look to keep things ticking over. Plays it to Gabriel Kluwer over on the right. The long ball to no one in particular, so a curious first touch there for Kluwer. Now Milanovic, step over in midfield, allows the ball to run on for James Troisi, a former Wanderer. Neil Kilkenny, Weston have committed numbers forward here, sensing an opportunity. Troisi continued his run, and the cut across is turned in off the chest of Alexander Priovic. It doesn't matter what part of the anatomy, this man is made of goals. Well, that was a wonderful sweeping move from Western United. Opening five minutes of the game really opened up Western Sydney. And that man who made a habit of scoring goals last season, as we see on the Harvey Norman replay. Kilkenny brings it wide. It's a great run from Troisi into the box. 
and he fires it across that six yard box and great improvisation from Priovic. Just a little low, he couldn't get the head down to dip to it for the header and use the chest. Great composure, chests it into the empty net and nonchalantly walks away, second goal of the season and that's a fantastic start for the boys in green. Well, whatever practice he might have done on goal celebrations, actually scored a goal. Booyah! The chest bump into the back of the net. <laughs> At the moment, Ewenhoff and Vazanic both sitting a little deeper. Maybe one of them can step high alongside Amalfitano and really create the problem behind the Western United defence. Uh, sorry, the Western United midfield. But at the moment, see both sitting in front of that midfield line, making it a little bit easier to read the play. Kudovic, slightly better measured long ball this time, and he blazes over. At last, they get the long ball right, but Kudovic didn't have the finish when the chance presented. Well, he did everything right, didn't he? It was a great run, lovely weighted pass from Tomislav Michela. Just misjudged from Imai. He had all the time here. Could have rolled it past, jinked it over the keeper. He went for pace and just gets the foot underneath it. See there, he's just trying to get the hip over. Can't do it, and that is a glorious chance gone begging, and he knows it. That really should have been equaliser there for Western Sydney. The game back on terms before the 20-minute mark. And that was just off the back of us praising how well they were defending West United as well, and then pretty much a straight ball over the top caught them napping, and they got let off. Very much a reminder that Umai has been out of the team since October himself. Here comes the cross and another chance for Kripic, but this time it rolls off his head and didn't quite have the power to steer it back towards the target. Ewenhoff, little turn, little face. Let's see who he can bring into the play. Bazanich now trying to thread the eye of the needle through the left flank. Bakoto to Traore. Neatly worked with the Malfitano linking up with Traore and now Mbakoto and held on to as the shot was firmly at him, Jamie Young. That was a neat play from Western Sydney Wanderers down that left hand side. Nice interplay, one and two touch, and then Traore saw Mbakoto at the edge of the box. Dumbia. Wales in space can pick his mark and the header from Priovic. And if you're only going to pop up every now and then, you've got to be able to steer those sort of headers onto the target. Well, much better delivery for the player of Priovic. Difficult one, tight angle, trying to put pace on the ball and angle as well. I just wonder if there's a bit of an edge starting to build in this game as well. Some of the duels and some of the tackles we've seen. Here's Milanovic on the end of Troisi's pass. Whips it across to Priovic, trying to set up Wales, and that is easy pickings for the goalkeeper, Lawrence Tox. Bakoto goes over into the shadows on the right side. And we'll look to pick out a teammate here. That's the setup inside the penalty box. Corner deep beyond the back post and rearing up and bouncing over the head of Amalfitano. Wanderers will reload. Kluwer. Amalfitano driving it in. And up for grabs goes Jamie Young. Yeah, great goalkeeping there from Jamie Young. Assess the situation, came out strong. The ball travelled a little too far. Gave him enough time to judge the flight. Come and collect. Milanovic touching it on. Seller stooped down to the header. Just holds up off the lush surface, though. Milanovic, and he went for glory. And he nearly caught out Lawrence Thomas, who tips it round the post. And he's perhaps right to berate his midfield in defence there for falling asleep on the youngster who nearly caught him out. That's fantastic. There, the enthusiasm to win, and here, the audacity to go from long range. Almost snuck in, and that's difficult for Lawrence Thomas when it bounces in front as well. Full stretch. Wonderful play from the young man. You saw Redan and his assistant, Jess Van Stratton, there protesting where this free kick was being taken from. It's been rolled a metre or two closer to the sideline and out of the shadows. Neil Kilkenny will swing it in. Dumbia is up for the header, but it is of no great danger to Lawrence Thomas. Even though the initial two signal minutes are up, the referee has determined that the little sit-down for Amalfitano need not extend it out any further. And so it means that Alexander Priovic, who has three in three against Western Sydney Wanderers, his bunnies, and they've fallen behind to that man once again.
And so Western United in the ascendancy, but there is so much more to play out in this one. At halftime, it's Western United 1, leading Western Sydney Wanderers 0. So we're waiting to find out who will be subbed on for Romain Amalfitano. We suspect it may have been dizziness or heat stroke of some sort that has afflicted him here. Not ideal for Western Sydney Wanderers to lose one of their midfield protagonists, given that that's where they had so many issues in the first half. And indeed, there is confirmation of the sub here at the start of the second 45. Of course, it's the gloves where most of the hard work gets done for Jamie Young. And he'll be hoping he can preserve a clean sheet here and deliver another win for Western United that will move them up the table and try to kickstart their title defence. Back underway and leading thanks to Alexander Prijevic's goal. And this man, Tongo Dumbia, on his first A-League men's start has certainly caught the eye. It'll be very interesting to see exactly how many minutes he will last, though, into this second half. As Jamie Young picks up the ball. At, uh, Daniel McBrain, it's uh, very unfortunate that uh, we've seen Romano Alfitano have to leave the game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to find out say, what was going on there. It seemed to be indicating dizziness or blurriness. It's just my rudimentary sign language skills. Which we'll have to find out. Tim can help us with that one. Interesting to see how that affects their play as well. It's a line drive onto the chest of Metzella. Ewenhoff. Bazanic. Now Traore. See Bazanic moving through that central channel, but the ball's not going to find him. Wanderers waxing over on the left instead. The centre back, Metzella, ventures forward. He scored at this end of Amy Park against Victory earlier in the season, and now he's camped forward as a shot comes in too close to the keeper. Perhaps should have gone looking for the centre back that was marauding forward. Just to turn and go. And a slider pass to Ngbakoto, who gets wiped out by Tomoki Imai. And I'm going to say, good yellow card to give there for the referee, because just when Western Sydney Wanderers were trying to get something going, Imai put an emphatic stop to it. Very late. Wasn't going to get there. And that one hurts. This is not just the physical pain, though. It's that Wanderers finally had a, a bit of a midfield combination going. And now a long ball. Kerbic bullocking work. And he's denied by a good stop. Jamie Young got his left paw out and was able to take the sting out of the shot and then grab it at the second time of asking. And Suleiman Kerpich, what a chance. Well, it's another good running behind, isn't it? It's two against one, and they get it all wrong. And it's a great stop in the end from Jamie Young, but Imai here, Kaiser uses the body, gets it all wrong. Kerpich is through and really should be scoring there again. And now Metzeller's turn to come through, makes a contest, Neuenhoff. So, onto the ball. Quick one, two. Neuenhoff. Skies one. Up it goes for Barello to challenge. And he couldn't get the header down. But again, Western Sydney Wanderers are working through the gears. Yeah, positive signs in the last few minutes. A little bit more urgency. A little bit more gusto going forward. You see here, just hangs it up at that back post. Trent was trying to break away with the ball. Pass gives the ball away. Dumbia is the counter on. Priovic, he's got teammates shouting in both of his ears. It's Milanovic who gets the feed. And now hits it on the underlap to Wales. The cut across. Bit of a blind turn pass, though. Wanderers players had got back in the road. Garuccio brought down by Priovic. Dumbia! That's a lovely touch from Priovic, isn't it? Back into the path of Dumbia. He rather snatched at it. I don't think he expected it to come at him so quickly. Lovely touch back inside. And you don't feel as though levers that long would generate that little power, to be honest. You, you would have expected him to really sink his laces through it. it takes him a while to wind them up. <laughs> now, Western Sydney Wanderers having to absorb a bit of pressure. Western have responded to... Perhaps Wanderers' brightest five minutes of the game. They're looking for a second, and it's well defended initially, but still dangerous. Priovic lurks. He's got Truisa for company. What a good stop from Thomas. That is a save of the round contender, and now the flag is up. You hope it's not taken off the goalkeeper here, because the reflexes were as sharp as ever from Lawrence Thomas. Well, it was a great first ball in. 
Kicked it just enough there, Traore. And this ball here, it looked like the two players, Troisi and Priovic, were going to get in each other's way. Mbakura. Nice trying to dissipate his touch, but has to retreat to the centre of defence. Now Traore to Wilmering. Waits for the overlap to try and draw a man away, open some space. Traore with room to whip in a ball. It's off the thigh. Spectacular from Ngbakoto trying to capitalise after the ball bobbled up for him, but ultimately nowhere near the target. Lopane. Metzella. Wilmering nods it into the danger area. Bit of confusion. Jamie Young calls keeper's ball. And is able to rise uncontested. Covering defenders are clearly satisfied that they're not in a huge danger at the moment. Aiden Simmons. Here he goes. And there's a foul on Gabriel Kluwer off the ball. And it's going to be met with a yellow card as well. Kluwer's not happy about it. Milanovic goes in the book. the free kick. Western United have the initial ball covered and the second. Back in it comes, headed away by Kilkenny. Marcelo again. As we tick towards 20 minutes of regulation to go, long ball, Kripic. Wins the initial header, brings Wilmering into the play. A quick cross, and Simmons, the debutante, was flying in. It's over his head, though. Tough header to win. Lapane drops the shoulder. Clever. Mbakoto with a shooting channel. He sent that 10 rows back into the stands. I can't believe it's not a corner. <laughs> He's adamant that got a touch. A little bit of quicker ball movement from Western Sydney there. Driving run forward. Opens up a little bit of a space for the strike. And not too sure if that got a touch or not. And he is. Tomislav Michella is forward. Yeni Mbakoto is the corner taker. To the far post. Batted away by Young. Neuenhoff. And the referee's whistle is going to blow play dead rather than have a second ball fly in. He did well there, Jamie Young. Under pressure. Traore loads up. Simmons rises to the head and nods it down. And Bakoto, well defended by Bozanovsky, got his body in the road. Neuenhoff, and it draws a good save out of Young as he parries it over the bar. You can see there, Jamie Young. Stir his team up. You know, in replay, it's a good save. Save he should really make. This is it away for a corner. Neuenhoff did well on the edge of the box. In it comes, Young, and this time Marcelo was crowding him, not to the referee's liking, giving away the foul. Neat one two between Lapane and Wilmering. Wilmering frees that left peg, and he got it over to Simmons. He's been able to keep it in. To his team's advantage, though, Kilkenny still deep in defence. Could have gone with the head rather than stretching with the feet. It was a wonderful ball to the back post area. You see here, if he just throws himself at it, diving header maybe, he may have had a better chance. Now to the right flank, Diamanti. Can he conjure up some magic? Marcelo wins the header. Bozanovsky. A couple of waves of Western United attack here, but he'll let the air out of the balloon. is dragged straight into the path of Trat. Diamanti. Kilkenny. Sweeping it out to the left side. Connor Payne. And he's dragged down by Claw. Nothing subtle about that whatsoever. Yellow card straight out of the pocket. 
primary focus here will be just winning the ball back and trying to get Western Sydney forward. It's been their big issue in these last five minutes or so. Diamante whips it in. Headed away by Tongik, only as far as Troisi. Here he is again. And he's able to expertly milk a foul from Aidan Simmons. This will be precious seconds off the clock here for Western United. Diamante, does he go direct? He doesn't, because it's headed just wide by Trask. And that could have been game, set, match in favour of Western United. Well, that's a glorious opportunity to seal the match. Wonderful ball in, great run. See here, just totally unmarked. Defensive marking is non-existent, and it should have been 2-0. Traore, Wilmering. Lapane back to Traore, dinks it over the top. Nazarene has drawn the keeper. And Simmons getting back to the ball against Payne, who did enough to put him off, protected the drop of the ball. And he's been hurt for his trouble. Put his body on the line there, and he had to. To the right side of the penalty box. Lawrence Thomas picks it up. Half of stoppage time has expired. Metzella, not a great touch. Bottic trying to catch out Lawrence Thomas, and he floats it high and long. Well, it's the right idea. There's a lapse in concentration. Thomas Love Metzella there just gave the ball back. Lawrence Thomas plays it out. That's a terrible touch, and all of a sudden, Lawrence Thomas is on his bike. Wilmering. Hugging the touchline. Neuenhoff is there. Numbers to aim for at the far post. If he can lift it across, there's no elevation on it. And it's cleared away by Topor Stanley. Bottage. A little bit lackadaisical there as the ball fell out of the sky. Western Sydney will get another chance. Wilmering. And now Neuenhoff. Picked off his toes. Trant down in the corner. Puts it back into the centre of the pitch. Potentially dangerous here. 20 seconds if they're good enough, Western Sydney. Tongyuk now. The substitute tries to lift it across. It's cleared away by Topor Stanley once again. 10 seconds. Desperation stakes for Western Sydney. Thomas. It's headed on by Metzella. Nazarene is lurking. Cleared away. And the three points are secured for Western United. Tomoki Yumai's return to the A-League men's produces a clean sheet. How important was he and how important is this for the defending champions? And it is shades of last season, a very familiar scoreline and a very familiar way of playing. Prijevic with the only goal in the first half and a lockdown defensive rear guard in the second delivers all three points for the green and black and nothing but frustration for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Not the week that Marco Rodan was hoping for. Certainly not the performance he was hoping for out of his team. Instead, it is full-time at Amy Park. Western United 1, Western Sydney Wanderers 0.